Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Charles Douglas and today I will be upgrading my Dell Vostro for OBS live streaming. I will be upgrading it with the ASUS GT710 model, 2GB DDR5. Here is what you get in the package. You get the video card and two low profile brackets. You have three ports. VGA, HDMI, and a DVI port. That's the heatsink, nice. And that is where you plug it into the PCI Express board. That's the manual also in the package. It comes with an install disk for the drivers. Here I am getting the computer ready for the upgrades. All right, so that's uh, we have a closer look of the inside of the computer. These are the upgrades I did so far. That is the M.2 SSD. One eight gigabyte and one four gigabyte stick to make 12 gigabytes. You need to remove the all the two brackets so that the space is there available to insert the graphics card. That is where the ports will be, the VGA, HDMI and DVI ports. I was getting a lot of load off of the CPU and GPU from the Intel graphics when I was using OBS multiple scenes, multiple streams and I was getting a lot of overload and frames per second dropped so the, this is also one of the reasons why I am upgrading to one of the 710, the GT710 video cards. I decided to choose this because it has the output port and basically I was only looking to get the encoding features of the NVNC from NVIDIA. So you fit the low profile brackets for this type build it have two gigabyte of video ram as well so it takes a lot of load off of the current integrated gpu and cpu from the dell vostro i need to know that this machine is fully capable of doing its purpose i'll be able to run multiple monitors with the upgrades on the ram and the ssd and i'll be also be able to take a lot of load off of the integrated gpu and cpu here I will be inserting the GT710. And make sure you hear that click to know that it's in properly. So just know that the GT710 is not your top of the line gaming graphics card it's more or less for multiple monitors or when if you have an old desktop or slim build you want to be able to have smooth graphics then the gt70 is capable of that it's not a high-end graphics card but for the purpose of what i need the extra ram and the ssd helps a lot so make sure you secure all the screws after you insert the graphics card secure everything and put your computer back together and from there you know we turn it on and we test it here we will be testing the Dell Vostro with the new inserted GT710 I will show you how to install the drivers most videos I watch this is to go straight to the NVIDIA website and download the drivers well all I did I basically took the CD that it came with the install CD I the Dell Vostro has a CD drive anyway so why not use it 
I installed the drivers and then I rebooted and then I went and I updated those drivers, downloaded the NVIDIA experience and downloaded the drivers that was needed from there. You know, went into the device manager and checked to see and make sure everything is up to date. So in case you don't have internet and you're busy with um, installing these graphics cards, just use the install CD, download the drivers and then when you connect to an internet connection, you update and add all the drivers needed to run the system correctly so as you can see here the graphics card has been installed successfully and the information when you boot the computer is on screen so you could go and do all your settings just follow all the on-screen instructions and you will be able to use your gt70 with your computer i hope you enjoy watching my video thanks again and don't forget it's your boy Charles Douglas, TD Jones Reviews. You're done now.